recall the strategy for naming quadrant one compounds is to first name the material as a type one and then you check to see is it a type one is it made from a type one metal if yes you stop if it's not a type one metal you proceed to see if it's a type two metal but the question becomes how do i know if it's a type one or type two metal how do i know if the answer is yes or no how do I know there's only one version of sodium chloride, but there's two versions of copper chloride? How do I know there's only one version of magnesium chloride, but there's two versions of tin chloride? Well, that comes from being able to know a type 1 metal from a type 2 metal. Compounds made from type 1 metals have only one flavor. Compounds made from type 2 metals have two or more. The first thing we have to do is make sure we can differentiate metals from nonmetals. So we're called the little stair step and now focus on the metals. Which one of those is type 1 or type 2? To get a handle on that question, let's move to a very busy periodic chart. And this chart shows the charge on the ions. And if you just focus on the metal, you'll see that there are a number of metals that have only one charge available. the so-called type 1 metals. And notice there are a number that have two or more possible charges. So-called type 2 metals. That would be very difficult to memorize. So we're going to make it a lot simpler for this class. What we're going to do is just memorize a few of the type 1, which ones that are very easy to block out on the periodic chart. And for this class, unless told otherwise, you're allowed to assume every other metal that's not a type 1 is a type 2. So let's go over what you need to memorize. All group 1 metals are type 1 metals, and they all happen to have a charge of plus 1. Easy enough. Group 1, type 1, plus 1. All group 2 metals are type 1 metals that have a charge of plus 2. And the only other type ones I want you to memorize are these six shown on the right. And students sometimes refer to this as the six pack since there's six of them. And I've chosen these six because they're easy to memorize. These three happen to have a charge of plus three. These two happen to have a charge of plus two. And this one happens to have a charge of plus one. So, for purposes of this class, any of the metals that's highlighted in green there are type 1 metals. And any metal that is outside that green, you may assume it's a type 2 metal for nomenclature purposes. Disclaimer. This isn't always true. For example, yttrium actually is a type 1 metal. But... Unless I tell you that, you can assume that it's type 2. And also, if I gave that to you on a, on a test, which I probably wouldn't, if you named it as a type 2, I would give you credit because I told you to, to assume it's a type 2. But if you named it as a type 1, I would also give you credit because in truth, it is a type 1. So I'm probably going to stay away from those. As a matter of fact... Probably what I'm going to focus on are the ones shown in this chart. When you get any periodic chart, 
the first thing you should do is note the ones you're supposed to memorize. Chances are, if you have to name a type 2 compound, it's probably going to be one of these that I've shown in blue. Furthermore, it's probably going to be one of the charges that's shown here. What this table shows is just the main types of charges. We saw vanadium has more than two possible charges. Here it's shown the two most common ones, for example, V3 and V5. And finally, to make full circle, you can now see why sodium chloride indeed only has one version, whereas you can see where copper chloride indeed has two versions, one with a positive one and one with a positive two. And you can see why magnesium chloride only has one version. And you can see why tin chloride has two versions. What was a mystery a few moments ago should now be pretty straightforward. So for nomenclature purposes, Remember that group one and group two and that little six pack are your type one metals. Any other metal, unless told otherwise, you assume it's type two and you'll use a Roman numeral. Keep those two things straight and you'll do fine.